completely different system, a complete process, exact temperature, um, timing, and there's machines that do this thing. And we'll te we test every single loop when we design a fly line and a core and a plastisol. And if, this, if, if, it's, a, if it's that, there's a welded loop there. If you hook it into a hook and pull straight, as you would with a fish on the end, you will break the fly line before you break the weld. It's always stronger than the fly line. And mostly because the core is folded back on itself. So here you have two parts of the core material. So it's much, much stronger than that. The welds are, so, are strong. Um, where it becomes an issue is if you, you're not, I don't know how much focus we can get here. Probably not too much, but where this ends and it's folded back, there's a, there's a step and that we cut a taper to it to reduce the step, but there's a step because you've got two bits in one bit. Um, and if it's not welded correctly, you'll find that that step can, can lift off or lift up. Um, when you're stripping it through the guides, then the guides will ag aggravate that and pull it off. And so sometimes you can open a loop because this tag end is, uh, as I said, starts to come off. And if, if, that, you know, if that happens to a fly line, then that's a problem. That shouldn't escape us quality control, but sometimes things like that happen. But to answer the question specifically, pulling it, it's more than 100% of the strength of the fly line, every time, whatever line it is. The only lines that we can't do that on, we don't put welded loops on. So for example, the super strong ones I was telling you about with that 70, 72 pound core, we can't weld and create a loop that is as strong as the core on that. For some reason, it doesn't work quite right. So we don't put welded loops on those. Anything we've got a welded loop on, we are saying that those are 100% from the factory. Uh, so you shouldn't worry about it. Uh, I have zero problem. I never, ever cut my loops off for that reason. Tarpon fishing, whatever it is, it's just so convenient. 